What's kicking, YouTube? I'm the Pokegen, and welcome to week 7 of our Pokemon Showdown Battles. And as you can see, I have a UU team for you guys. And before we get started, let's try this, get this video to at least 15 likes, because I really do enjoy the support that you guys give me, and it'll help my channel a lot, and I really do enjoy the feedback that you guys give me. Alright, so uh, let's start off with the team uh, for you guys. Um... First up, we have a Mega Aerodactyl with the moves Dragon Claw, Rock Slide, Ice Fang, and Fire Fang with the um, EV spread of 252 in attack, 4 in defense, and 252 in speed with a Jolly Nature. Next, we, ha we have a Quagsire with holding a leftovers with the water absorb ability with the moves earthquake waterfall curse and ice punch with the ev spread of 200 in hp 56 in attack and 252 in defense with an impish nature and next up we have a victini holding a choice band with the only ability it gets is victory star with the moves v create bolt strike u-turn and zen headbutt with the ev spread of 252 in attack 252 in special defense and four in speed with an adamant nature all right next we have a togekiss which i didn't even know um Togekiss was in UU. I thought it was no you, but I guess it got bumped down for some reason. Alright, with the uh, item, it's holding leftovers with the ability Dazzling Gleam. With the uh, moves Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Tri Attack, Flamethrower. With the EV spread of 84 in HP, 200 in special attack, 184 in special defense, and 40 in speed with a calm nature. I know some people like to run. Uh, um, modest or something like that, but I decided to go a little bit more defensive on on Togekiss just to try it out. And next we have a Sableye holding leftovers with the Prankster ability with uh, will o -Wisp, Recover, Taunt, and Knock Off. With the EV spread of 208 in HP, 48 in attack, and 252 in defense with an impish nature. And last but not least, we have a Choice Specs Chandelier with the Flash Fire ability with the moves Flamethrower, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Dark Pulse. With the EV spread of 72 in HP, 184 in defense, and 252 in special attack. And with a modest nature. Um, looking at my team, um, I have a bit of uh, electric weakness. But I do have Quagsire to uh, counter that. Uh, what else? I have a water. I have a water weakness, and I have Quagsire for that. <laughs> I have a fairy weakness with Sableye. Yeah, with Sableye, and Togekiss can counter that. Um, I have a Ghost weakness, and I have uh, Sableye to counter that. Also, uh... yeah, that's that's pretty much it um once i get back to you guys with a battle uh i will let you know i don't want to um um torture you guys with just waiting and uh i don't want to torture you guys for just uh waiting just to get a battle as well so uh i will be back once i get a battle later guys all right guys i'm back with a battle um i did not record this live i realized that um when I record live battles, it's hard for me to concentrate on what I'm doing, and uh, when, I, when I'm when i not recording at all, I do very well. And I make really good plays, for once, <laughs> surprisingly enough. So, that's what I'm going to do from now on. Um, I, I did a random battle with somebody, and uh, I want to show you guys what happened. I thought I did really well, so uh, I'm going to show you now. So, this is basically the, uh, the team. Um... He at Caracosta, as I go in with the uh, Victini, um, he he went for the Aqua Jet. I, I realized that I can eat that up, so then I went for the Bolt Strike, as he eats it up as well, but I realized that he's a weakness policy to Caracosta. I was like, shit, I have to get out of here. So I go into the Quagsire, made a really good play here, because he went for Aqua Jet, and I'm Water Absorbed, so... 
Yeah, I was I'm immune to any water move, so which is great. Um, I went for earthquake. Unfortunately, he was able to eat it up like like that. So I believe he goes for yeah, he goes for crunch. I eat it up like because I'm Quagsire. Durr. And um, yep. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um. Alright, yeah, I I go for the earthquake, kill, killing the Karakosta, which is great on my part. And I believe he takes out the Golurk. No, Gudra. Okay, so I realize this thing's gonna be annoying, and this is top priority is to kill this thing. So, um, yeah, he went for the Dragon Pulse. I went for the Ice Punch. It did okay damage. Yeah, fifty six percent damage, but um. I ended up, I believe I ended up switching out into Aerodactyl. Yep, I, I ended up switching out into Mega Aerodactyl because I knew his attack was a lot better than Quagsire's. So, I Mega Evolved. Good thing I ate up the Dragon Pulse. That was, oh my god, I was really scared. So, I Mega Evolved, went for the Ice Fang. Or no, Dragon Claw, I'm sorry. Dragon Claw is a little bit better, so I went for that. The speed does not matter, even though it's a Gooey Gudra. This, I was... Didn't really make it matter with the speed drop, so he he goes into the Lilligant. Um, I went for the Ice Fang. It did okay. It did a lot of damage. Unfortunately, didn't kill. So then he unfortunately kills me off with Leaf Storm, and and also kills himself as well. So that was two. So that was three Pokemon down. I was really happy at this point. So I believe I took out. What did I take out? I think I went... Okay, it was Quagsire. Right, right, right. So, um, I ended up going for Waterfall. As he goes for the Drain Punch, I do eat it up, which is great. Um, yeah, I, I went to the Waterfall. It did 42% damage. I'm... Well, I ended up... Left, it ended, he ended up left with 42% damage, and, uh, I believe I went for another Waterfall, but unfortunately, he was faster and killed Quagsire. I'm pretty proud of Quagsire in this battle, so... I, I didn't... I realized I didn't really need him anymore. But now I, I uh, take out Chandelure, um, I use Shadow Ball, because it was Stab and were Choice Specs, so it was going to kill almost everything on the field. So next he brings in the Luxray, as he goes for Wild Charge? I want to say he went for Wild Charge, but at least I got the special defense drop. Um, yeah, he went for Wild Charge. Ends up damaging himself with the recoil. Um, I think I, I, I believe I kill him for the next turn as I do. Yes, I do. And he brings in the his last Pokemon, which is a Flareon. As I keep going for Shadow Ball, um, he ended up going for Flare Blitz. Um, I guess he he must have misclicked. I'm not sure because I'm Flash Fire and I don't I don't get touched. So I'm gonna go for one last Shadow Ball as he was a. Uh, a Guts Flareon, which was kind of scary, but at least he went for the Wish. I'm surprised he didn't go for uh, Protect, but I, but then I realized it was the last turn, so maybe he he thought he was able to eat it, but nope. And I ended up winning the battle. Um, I four I four owed him. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, this was a pretty good battle. So like I said, um, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to record live battles for now on because unless it's with the subscriber, um, a subscriber or a Twitter follower, um. I'm going to tweet out um, sometimes whenever I need a battle. So this week is going to be you, you. Um, I'm going to be taking maybe requests like two or three more times just to see if I can, if I'm able to get a battle. I will be live recording them. So um, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, leave a like or comment if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time for a brand new battle. Later, guys.